And we're back, and uh, I think I'm going to actually go ahead and go on over to the jungle over there, because this seems like another area where I could easily run out of wood, so I'm going to try to make it across here and hope something catastrophic doesn't happen. I'm going to jump and run, get maximum speed. And looks like I'm going to make it. That's good news. All right, so... This episode, I'm going to decide where to make my first base of operations. I've decided that. And I'm going to really just do everything on this map, I decided. I'm just going to make this a full-fledged survival LP. And I'm going to just do everything I normally would do in a Minecraft survival scenario. So my first question I have to decide is where I'm going to put my first base. On the Vanilla Good Time server, one of the servers I host, I actually made a base in the desert that I like quite a bit. Uh, there's some nice advantages to the desert. Never rains. It's, uh, you get a lot of endermen, so you can easily collect ender pearls. And uh, it's just nice and open, so... Definitely like the desert, so I'm considering that, but at the same time, don't want to do the same thing in all, you know, in all my games, so... Maybe I'll actually try the jungle. Haven't really done that. I'm going to have to pillar up to get this tree down, because I hate floating trees, so... I'm going to do what I probably should have done in the first place. Get to the top of it, and cut from the top. And I'll be right back after I chop down this tree. <laughs> so, uh... Sun went down while I was chopping down that tree, and, uh... Well... Yeah. So... That was fun. I'm going to try to make my way back here. Alright, there were a couple of things here we probably should have taken anyway. Oh, maybe not. Alright, we're just going to see if I can get back there, but I don't think so. I think that bridge is actually closed. Oh, not bringing my bed was a fatal, fatal mistake. Okay. Back to square one. All right, well, I'm going to get some wood again, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, so we're right back to the first episode, having quite a bit of difficulties again. Going to uh, repair our little hut over here, and I uh, think I'm just going to go ahead and go mining some more and get some more resources so I can uh, be better set up to fight these guys, and I'll be back in just a little bit. So once again, we have an open bridge, and I don't know where it leads to, but I'm taking it. Oh, we're going back to the desert again. Alright, good. Maybe I can actually get back to my stuff. It's probably long gone, but I can dream. I can dream. Very least, we'll find a new biome to explore and a different place to mine, which would be great. But I think I'm actually going to try to get all the way back to the jungle if I can. I'll tell you, the bridges opening and closing really do make it harder. Um, that would have been normally a simple case of just going and getting my stuff back. And, uh, the bridge closed. Or at least I thought it closed. I don't know if they're all in different timers, but it looked like they were all closed. And, uh, well, as you, as you saw, I couldn't get back. And that, uh, oh, not getting back to the jungle. Looks like I'm, uh... Alright, so now I wonder, is the other one... Let's find out. Let's find out how that works. But, this isn't too bad. I have plenty of wood. I got two saplings. Then I'm just going to go ahead and plant right now. I'm not messing around anymore. <laughs> I know how easily you can run out of wood here. The other thing about this map that's quite challenging is I'm guessing... I really don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that the, the nature of this map is forcing... A lot more mobs to spawn close in on you because there's nowhere else for them to spawn. Uh, it sure feels harder than usual, um, but I really, I really don't know for sure. Just a guess. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start mining down here, and uh, I'll be back in just a little while. All right, I just came up from mining, and uh, see the bridge is open, so I'm actually gonna cross because I did get quite a good bit of. I did get quite a bit of good stuff, but, um, didn't find any diamonds. And I'd really like to find some diamonds so I can make an enchanting table. So I'm going to head over here to the desert and, uh, immediately place down my bed. 
which I don't see, but I have the ingredients to make a bed, so that's fine. This one I brought it, but that's okay. What's going over? Going on over there? Got some sort of loading error. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, yeah, got a little glimpse of the redstone. All right. So first things first. Not messing around. Want to be ready the second the sun comes down. Set my spawn here. Alright. I think I'm going to actually collect a little bit of sand and uh, start making a shelter, so I'll be right back. Alright, well I did some sand collecting and I decided to actually build a pretty decent base. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I like it. Um, I used spruce logs and smooth sandstone. Um, I didn't go with the iron doors, even though I'm on hard. So technically the zombies could knock it down, but my plan is to be in bed by the time the sun goes down because I don't want to mess around anymore when it comes to this map. So I'll give you a little tour of the inside. It's nothing too fancy. I got stairs around the sides, and I uh, tried a couple of things. I decided to go with the stone bricks on the pillars on the corners here. Uh, I like it. Went with the sandstone half slabs in the middle here just to uh, add a little decor. And uh, that's pretty much it. Found out I'm in a bit of a predicament, though. I am very quickly running out of food. So, in the middle of building, I actually noticed that the bridge over to there opened up. So, I ran over and um, grabbed some seeds, actually, from the grass in hopes that I'd be able to uh, get some food from it. And it seems to be working. Am I crazy, or does that look like it's hydrated? That's... Alright. I'm going to get as much as I can get from it. In the meantime, it, that's, that's pretty weird. That was too smart. There we go. Um, if there is water here, that's pretty damn convenient, I'll tell you that, because I'm going to actually start a farm. Let's see if we can do that. That'd be That'd be nice. Uh, as you can see, I am in my full iron armor. Uh, got a good amount of iron while I was mining, even got a little gold. Even got two emeralds, so apparently the plains over in that direction is, I guess it's like an extreme hills, even though F3 shows it as a plains, but there's emeralds in it, so I don't, oh, I guess we'll just, I don't know. It's sort of like Extreme Hills, but it's labeled as Plains. I don't know, but it's got emeralds in it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. I don't think there's any villages, but maybe I'll uh, save up enough to get some cool looking block. Got a little gold. Not enough to really do anything with. And I, yeah, I grabbed a little bit of redstone. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it, but if we ever start making potions or some uh, lights or anything like that, I'm going to need them, so I grabbed it. Got some lapis for fun. And uh, I'm in pretty good shape here. Gonna try to see if I can build this this farm here, and if I can, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh oh, that seems to have gotten dehydrated so or trampled. I guess we'll find out. It seemed to be uh let's see. It really makes no sense because I don't see any water, but it might just be the uh, colors on my screen. Here you go. Guess we'll find out. Do I have any more bones? I do not. Alright, so I'm set up. Looking good. I got tree farms. I got plenty of saplings. I got 10 wheat that I'm going to go make some food out of. And uh, there's nothing to do with go mining again because I really can't do much till I find some diamonds and obsidian. Um, obviously, obsidian is no use if I don't have the diamonds also, but really want to get an enchanting table. Then I can start worrying about where I'm getting some XP from. Maybe build an XP farm. Or even better, some sort of crazy mob system, because I think it will actually work great on this map, given the limited space for them to spawn in already. It shouldn't be too hard to light up some extra areas. So I'm pretty excited to do that. I'm not sure what design I'm going to use. Um, I've used the Etho Practical Mob System design, 
I think at least three or four different times in the times I've been playing. It's just so uh, so convenient. It's essentially perfect. Um, though there are certainly faster systems, it is just the easiest to build by far. You don't need a whole lot of, of resources to do it. But since I've done that so many times, maybe I'll try something different. I'm not sure. Um, I will for sure attempt to make it into a full-fledged XP farm, not just a drop farm. So I'm going to need some obsidian to coat the base. And uh, that's pretty much the plan. So I'm going to go out and go mining, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I was taking a little break before I was going to go mining. I decided to actually check some of the footage of um, earlier, see how much time I had left to make on this video. and. I realized two things. First of all, that I have a very short attention span sometimes when I'm recording. And uh, secondly, to answer one of my own questions I posed earlier, the bridge is not all connected, apparently. Um, it would seem that they're all separate, because in the footage I was watching, one of them was shut and the other one was open. So that answers that question. Um, anyway, I think I have just the right amount of footage here, so... I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode, and I'll see you guys next time.